There are definitely differences in adoption of generative AI across industries. Some industries just naturally are conducive to the sort of problems that generative AI can solve. So let me give you an example. Uh, software engineering is one area where we're seeing immediate impact of generative AI. A recent study showed that software engineers who utilize coding assistants that were powered by generative AI had a two and a half X improvement in efficiency. That's an amazing impact and that's already here. A second study was in the area of management consulting, where that suggested that management consultants that used generative AI in their processes improve their efficiency and their productivity by 18 to 30%, depending on the degree to which they had been trained how to use the specific solution. So these and other industries are showing just immediate improvement already, more so than other industries that have a greater degree of what we would typically refer to as manual labor. So agriculture, mechanical repair and installation and building are some areas that are less impacted right now by generative AI. That said, it's not the case that those areas are not impacted. In fact, just last week, I conducted a workshop on generative AI for 60 leaders of a 120-year-old agricultural processing and products company. And one of my uh, most recent consulting clients was a multi-billion dollar agricultural products company. It's not that these companies in these industries that aren't immediately impacted won't eventually get there. It's just that they are not proceeding so quickly as you see in areas like software engineering, pharma, and financial services, and consulting. Those areas are much more uh, aggressive in terms of their adoption.